this is Chris from Emerald Honey. Welcome to another video. And this one I want to talk about the skill set of finding a queen within the hive. And also the newer beekeepers is probably one of the most challenging things is out of the uh, 20, 30, 40,000 honeybees, uh, you're trying to find a single queen. And so we're going to help you with that skill set uh, today in this video, hopefully. Showing some, some tips that can help speed up the process. Now, I think we've talked about this other videos that uh, there's an 80% of beekeeping is really scientific and it's biological. The bees do things for a specific reason, that we have to obey that and listen to it. Uh, the 20% though is more of the art. <laughs> that, that's where the sk this skill set falls into play. We have to learn that. So we're gonna help, help, hopefully help you out on there. Again, the more practice you have and find the queen, the faster that process will be. And so we have our smoker here. And again, as we talked about in future videos, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, smoke my hands. We can look at the entrance here. Uh, the uh, worker bees are bringing in pollen. And so pollen, it, it could be an indicator that there is a queen inside. It isn't always an indicator. They could bring pollen because they're queenless <laughs> and they are laying eggs as a drone laying colony or there's drones in there. And so, uh, but again, uh, in, in a lot of cases, uh, pollen could mean that there is in fact a queen uh, in there laying eggs. And so let's go ahead and uh, smoke the entrance. Smoke the under here. I take off the there. We, we always look for the queen. She might be adhering to the top of the lid. They propolize this. So let's go take our hive tool, crack it open slowly, and we're going to go ahead and look at everything. See if we're going to find a queen. She's not there, or she could be. And then we're going to do uh, a gentle smoke in there. And let's start from the outside. Now the way the honey uh, really box does is that typically the outsides will be your pollen and nectar, typically the nectar stores. And so the queen most likely does not pass the honey barrier. And so especially even, even a, a top double hive, um, she won't allow it pass into the super. You won't find her in the super. It doesn't mean she can't be there, but a lot of times uh, you can almost kind of really quickly look over that and move on to the next frame. Let's do that right now. I like to pop open the outside frame. Let's go ahead and open this up. Looks like they're festing in here a little bit. Uh, most of the time, she will not be on there while they're building uh, the comb. Now, once the comb is built, she could be on there, especially if she doesn't have a lot of places to lay eggs. So let's look at this one. Not worm too much. And there is some eggs in here. And so that means that the queen was here. Doesn't mean she is there. Uh, if she laid an egg, that means she's past this point. And so as we go, we see eggs and eggs and eggs. So she is most likely not here. Let's look on the other side. I see a pollen gatherer and nothing there. So let's move on. And as you're doing this, you're doing multiple things. And that's kind of the tough thing with the newer beekeepers is that you have to do multiple things, right? Look at pollen stores, uh, look at honey stores, uh, how the brood pattern is doing, uh, any diseases. And so we're going to go ahead and quick a look. Now, again, the differentiation, I guess, here with a, a normal honeybee and the queen is the queen will have a thicker, larger thorax and a longer, uh, larger abdomen. And so and obviously, so once you see her, then it's just about basically uh, trying to find that shape in any other shape. So I guess it's like, you know, where's Waldo, <laughs> I guess, right? You're, if, if we're ones who are uh, old enough to remember uh, that book, you're just trying to find the differences here. And again, this queen is not marked. And so we're just kind of scanning, scanning, and then she's not on this Next one. And we're going to go ahead and tap that. I think as we're pulling it, we want to do it gently. We're looking at pollen stores, really nice brood pattern here. Uh, I see some eggs. She could be on this frame. Again, uh, if they're hatching out, right? If a uh, if they're hatching out, that means that there's an empty spot. An empty spot is good for a queen. And so sometimes if she's on a thick brood pattern that uh, is hatching, she could be on here already. Let's see. 
taking or scanning. And sometimes it could be even the side at times. But I do not see here on this one. Yeah, sometimes the crevices, you can be in the crevices. Okay, let's put this one back. Let's go to the next one. And then I'd like to see, look at the bottom, see if she's falling out sometimes. So let's put her back. Let me go through the whole thing. Again, the whole time, what's their honey stores look like? What's their pollen? Uh, any, any diseases, any perforated cells, uh, which means that there's holes in the capping. Are they sunken? Does it look greasy? Um, all these, uh, you almost want to look simultaneously. So she, here she is, quick glance right there. You can see her large uh, thorax there, elongated abdomen. She's plowing through uh, the other, other honeybees here. And uh, she's looking for a cell. You have her attendants following her. Uh, so that's uh, how she is. And so, and again, you're, you want to recognize this shape, right? She won't always be as big, but typically she's different from the other bees, right? She looks differently. So you're scanning the site and looking for that particular shape. And so we can always take her, we can mark her, we can just make sure she's there. And so now we know we're gonna put them right back. What I like to do when I put her back is make sure where she's at. Remember, she can be squished here. See, there's some dead bees here. Squished here, so I, and she can maybe even squish in this area. So I wanna make sure that I put her back, I know where she's at, and she's safe. I'm gonna go ahead and push her in here. That way I don't squish her. And so you always wanna make sure where she's located at and then put that frame back. So we're gonna go and put these frames back here. Hopefully I gave you an indication on how to find the queen. Again, uh, it is a skill set that you have to learn um, as a beekeeper, um, there's going to be many reasons why you want to find the queen. Maybe you want to cage her because of uh, pausing the broodling section for Varroa. Maybe you want to mark her. Maybe you just want to make sure you can show others. <laughs> so there's a lot of reasons to find a queen. Uh, marking is the easiest, but again, sometimes developing a skill might be good without marking. So you can actually can see the shapes there. So hopefully it was educational for you guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Happy beekeeping.